All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm um, one, one tenth of a mile away from Mr. Buford, and uh, as many of you are aware, he's been living in the parking lot over here at this uh, outreach facility called Greater Works. Man, they do some good work. Lunches and showers and food and, you know, items and, uh, and the list goes on. Nonetheless, he's been here... He's been here a while, so I was at the gas station getting him a bag of ice, and I got a gift. My friend Susan sent him a gift, which I think is super cool. It is 98 degrees on my car, which easily puts it over 100 on the heat index. We got him a heat shield for his, his window. I'm sure you probably saw that. If not, you'll see. But... Uh, all right, I'm gonna shut down. We're gonna get to him live here next. Is that Faye? Oh, I know you. Oh, you're Debbie. All right. You look real similar to Faye. So you look real similar to Faye. So. Who's Faye? Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm using your rod up that way. I ain't Yeah, I probably could. But yeah. I got some food. Here, I got some lunches. I got my food today. Well, where's your car? Right here. Oh, okay. I just got here 30 seconds ago. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just step around and let you do what you got to do, whatever y'all doing. Okay, you okay, Beaver? You want some else? Okay, you're welcome. Beaver, I got you a bag of ice. Yeah, I got you. Need some ice? I also got you a gift. Um, well, I didn't get it. A uh, woman, Susan, sent you a gift. I'm gonna go get it. You still got that battery that I gave you? Yeah. All right. Have you used it? Uh, it bad, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll show you here. Let me go. Uh, you just had lunch here? Yeah. Okay. Do you need a lunch? Are you hungry? I'm good. You're good. Okay. Uh, I'll be moving out here i'm sorry I'll be moving out you're gonna be moving out of here sometime tomorrow yeah. where are you going you know walmart down here yeah okay you, as you turn left and get into walmart you go around the curve there'll be a dump dump back in there right between them two trees that's one more part. you're gonna get your car towed there yeah. to park there as a new location yeah all right no, I can take it well, all right, behind Walmart over there. No, not my, no, they ain't got no new in Walmart, no. Okay. When you turn left, go beside McDonald's, around that curve, there's some dump dump right in there, they're not back there in a the hole. The McDonald's, you're talking way down the street. Yeah. Okay, five miles from here. I'm about two or two feet behind. Not this Walmart, but the other Walmart. Okay, a little longer than that, my friend. two trees there. Okay. two trees. All right. Do you have working phone service? I know you have a phone, but does it... Can you make calls? Okay. All right. Well, the reason I ask is because you'd be able to call me and let me know exactly where you're at. So I can, you know... Well, I'm telling you right now where I'm at. Well, yeah, but until you're there, I'm not going to... You don't know how many times people say they're going to meet me here and they're going to be there and they're going to do this and they're going to do that and they just never do. You know, no offense. It's, it's you know, not not geared toward you. It's just just the way I, my experience is in general. So, but with that being said. My friend will come by and I'm going to pay my insurance and bill. We're going to pay my phone bill. And I'm going to come back and get my tow truck. And I'm going to have a tow truck take me there. Well, I just told you. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you something. I'm taking my ass out of before I get in the car. Are they asking you to leave here? Yeah, I got to leave. Yeah. Okay. You've been here how long now? I've been here about two months. Two months in this parking lot. Wow. I can't take it no more. 
you been doing any better on your on the savings? Because I know you wanted to get a new car. You been doing any better on some savings? I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, I know. I'm just you know, you know. I know you. I have about well about eight hundred dollars, and eight months I have more than eight months. Okay. I have more, more, more. Well, you don't have to tell me. I just want to know if you're making improvements, you know, on your savings. But, I'm trying to. but yeah. Well, it's not going to be cheap to get towed over there, you know. Fifty to sixty. Well, that's not bad. You know, a lot of times they charge you hundred bucks just to hook up your car. You know, good for you. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me run to my car and I'll go get you a couple things. Could you use a water or a soda? No, I got some. Okay, you're good. You want me to put that ice in your cooler? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I just got it like five minutes ago. I don't want it to melt. Yeah, so. I got it. Water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was going to suggest that before, and you weren't really a fan of the taking the water out. But I'll be more than happy to take the water out because that's all you're, all you're doing is cooling off hot water when it's full of water. Yeah, that makes no sense to me. But cool. All right, let me get on that. Then I got a cool gift for you. You can use it like right now. You, you're going to like it. You'll see in a minute. Let me uh, let me take her to ice, and I'll be right back. Appreciate it. All right. I can see why you're hanging out in the shade. I wouldn't want to go anywhere else right now. Yeah. No, no problem. All right, I'll be right back. There's his car, guys. I think the motor seized up. He drove it when it was well overheated out of the sake of desperation of once you stop you ain't gonna get it started again and the damage was probably done so those cars are I guess you could basically say a dime a dozen let's let's make it happen here with the ice last time I did the ice this was like bag number four or five I think five in all in all he wanted me to pour the, it's not even open he wanted me to pour the uh, ice directly into all the water that was in the cooler which uh he's got more pills and mattress for him all right oh yeah see that's what i'm talking about when you're full of water like this all you're doing and it's it's warm to the touch you know it's it's colder than bath water or warmer than bath water Anyways, no moss. Gonna dump this bad boy. Okay. Monster drinks, which some people will be questionable. That's a Gator I gave him two weeks ago. I'm quite sure. So let's get this ice in there. Done deal. All right, I'll take the I'll take the empty bag. Sealed up and back in the car you go. Okay, my friend. What's that? Let you see if I put the cooler in right. There's only so many ways it goes in. The same way. All right, take a look at this, my friend. This woman spent some money. This is a. Uh, this is uh, not cheap. Oh, I'll keep the box. This. This is a neck fan. Oh, neck fan. Yeah. And you put this around your neck, and you see these. It looks like headphones. But these are the vents and the fan that blow cold air through all these these vent holes that go around your neck. Hey, turn off now. There's a little switch on the side. Okay. It's got different speeds. Let's try it out. Okay. This is your this is your charging cable, but you can plug this into your into your the battery I got you. Okay. But well, the Mark got you. You don't have to get that. Yeah, be fine out of that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for letting let me know. Okay. All right. Let me show you here. I got it on low speed. You feel the air coming through these vents? Yeah. There's three speeds. They've been high, Yeah. 
Well, you got to hit it twice. Okay. There's three speeds. Okay. There's medium. Thank you. Appreciate it. Then there's high. And you put it around your neck. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. But all you got to do is make sure you keep up on the uh, on the battery part of it. I will. I will. Yeah. If I had to give you, you know, a, here's the owner's manual if you want it, but you're not, you know, you, you say you have a hard time reading, well, you can have the whole box. You know, the owner's manual's in there. I use it. But first and foremost, I would keep that battery charged. I will. Well. I'll give it a try. All right. I sure appreciate it. All right. So you're not going to be here after tomorrow then? We send down more by Bill over there. Okay. Sure appreciate your help though. Yeah, not a problem, young man. Right, we can get out soon. Sorry it's been so long, my car's broke down, I got it fixed. Okay. Yeah, it took me a while. Uh, yeah. Well so I'm gonna get, right, get out soon. Want another cooling towel? Nah, I'll be fine. You'll be fine? Okay. Thank you. It's All right. Hot. It's gonna be hard today. Yeah, get back to your spot. Okay. Appreciate it. You're welcome, young man. All right, I'll 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 look for you over there. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. With, with, uh, with that interaction with Buford, you may have seen Debbie uh, walk up on the scene, and she needed a ride. But now she's nowhere to be seen, so I'm going to drive around the block here a little bit and see if I can spot her. Because I have room. No brewing under day. It's far too hot for him to be in the car. And that once I get out of the car, there really is no, no, uh, no uh, predictability of how long I'll be gone. Sometimes I'll start talking to one person and then five more show up within five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. But, uh, all right, let's go have a look. If I find her, if I find her, if I find her, I'll be back. It is 1.40 p.m. And the car just pegged 100 degrees. Now that's the temperature. This isn't the, uh, <laughs> this isn't the heat index or the real feel temperature, depending on whatever they call it nowadays. You know, needless to say, it's freaking hot. All right, well, that being said, Heading home.